This is Just Tool Basics, and today we're talking about multimeter probes. Hello everyone, welcome to Just Tool Basics. Today's topic is multimeter probes. Now, in a previous video, we've gone over some of the functions of multimeters. And today we're just going to focus on some of the accessories that you can get for multimeters. Now, not all multimeters use the same probes, so you can't necessarily slap these in, but the fluke style multimeter does have kind of the standard size probes, but some of the cheaper ones don't have this depth of, don't accommodate this depth of collar. Now this is good because it insulates deep into the body of the multimeter, which prevents, you know, arcing and things like that, but it's not a requirement for, you know, most, most usages, but this sort of thing is needed for the higher cat rating, which we've talked about in another video as well, uh, which can deal with a thousand volts or up to a thousand volts. So your multimeter, when you get one, will come with a set of probes. It's kind of necessary for it to function. And the basic probes, which are these, these style, they get the job done for plenty of things. They work just fine. But they don't work in all situations, and obviously they don't grab on to things. You have to either, you know, use your chopstick skills to use it with one hand or use two hands to touch the probes to whatever it is that you're measuring. So we're going to put these aside, and we're going to focus on this, what's called the master accessory set, which comes with a modular system. So the cables to the probes, one, are a little bit longer. They're a little bit nicer material. They're, they have a silicone sleeve on them, so they're just I don't know, slightly more pleasant to touch, so they don't, uh, they don't get little kinks and waves in it. Like, it's just a very soft, soft material. And then these ends plug into all of these various probes that come in the kit. Now, I have this big ridiculous kit to work on all sorts of electronic things where I need to have different ways of accessing circuits that I want to test that might be overkill for your situation. You can buy all of these probes individually and they're the same thing. They just don't come in a nice roll like this. So but let's just start over here on the right and we'll move across. So I've already taken all these things out of the pouches just so you don't have to hear me fussing with Velcro. So the first set of probes is pretty similar to the default probes, except that on the end, you can retract and extend this insulation tip, which both protects against a little bit of arcing if you're dealing with higher voltage things, as well as just prevents you from rubbing against other parts of the circuit or you know a ground or something like that nearby what you're trying to test. So this makes it so that only the very tip is showing and they just roll in and out of the way pretty nicely. So I definitely use this regularly just to make sure that I'm not accidentally bumping things with the metal part of the tip. Other than that, though, they work basically like the stock tips that come, or the stock probes that come with the multimeter, except they're modular. Next, we have these little jaw dudes. And they are pretty aggressive in the tooth design. And that's so that it can hang on to either wire or onto like a ground lug screw or something like that. So I do have a little example piece of wire to show you the rest of these. I, I figured I didn't need to demonstrate that these work basically the same as the other. But let's say you can't two-hand it. This is a good way to bite on to the end of the wire. And just to show you that it's working, I figure we'll we'll just turn on the the beep functionality. Since I imagine you get the idea that this works for the voltage and whatever else. So obviously clamps right on to that that end. 
you know what, on second thought, let's just leave this end attached to the black one. And then I'll just demo the red half of the rest of these guys. This one is also a little grabber end, but it's a hook. So this is much more designed for hooking onto the legs of electronic components, onto the ends of wires, things like that. So for example, just take the hook, put the wire in, and it grabs on. Now these are a double jaw, very long reach. So as you can see, this flexible tip, you can reach down into a very congested area where you need to test a circuit, like inside of an appliance or whatever it is that you're working on. These are the little bit heavier duty guys. These are just the big alligator clips. Very aggressive tooth pattern on those. And these would obviously be for hanging on to sturdier things, battery terminals, larger gauge wires, things like that. But of course they do work just fine for smaller gauge things like the end of a wire. Now lastly, we have this device. Now this does not come in a pair, it only comes in one. And what this does is it works like a thumb plunger and it has a spring-loaded, I don't even know if we can see this, it has a spring-loaded needle in there. Let's see if I can get that on camera, there we go. I think you can barely see it there. So the thing, I'm depressing with my thumb or with my palm is a pretty pretty stiff spring and then this end is also very lightly sprung just to provide a sheath around that little needle. And the way this works is it actually pierces the sheathing, the insulation of the wire that you're testing. You place it in there and it just presses the the needle right through. And that needle is very very fine. You would need to take care to not like yank on the wire to bend it over because then obviously it won't work very well. But this is just such a time saver when you're dealing with a, a circuit where you have access obviously to a wire sticking out and no access to an exposed end if it goes into a, an insulated terminal or something like that. This just saves the day and it doesn't leave any any significant damage that you can even see. So let's put it somewhere and keep track of where that damage went. And then if you look there, I can't even see it in real life. Like I can see a disturbance in the, in the insulation, but it certainly isn't, you know, letting any of the, any of the electrical juices out. So this one, if, if I had to pick amongst these, I think I could probably survive. Like one of the clamping ones is a good idea. Um, so I'd probably want to grab one of those. And uh, I think the one that we're using as the, the basic here, it, it's probably the most flexible usage wise. Uh, it doesn't have the deep reach of one of these, but I, 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 it has a very nice grip to it. But this thing, it's the only one that does what it does. The only way to accomplish this kind of with a, a self hack is by like stabbing a safety pin through the sheathing or something like that. Like not, not good idea stuff. Either that, or you're stuck with dismantling the circuit, stripping off a little bit of the insulation, something like that, where you can get to the conductor inside, which probably isn't what you want to do. So yeah, this guy is, is the business. So that's a review of some of the various probes that you can get. There are others. This is just the set that I have here. Until next time, this is Just Tool Basics.